Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Dr. Chinaran Ukweni. I am the go to get. So if you're new to the channel, this is where we talk about animals and everything about animals. If you're old to the channel, you will keep it hot, simple and easy to understand. So today I have with me Jamie. Jamie say hi. Okay, she's shy. <laughs> so let's get right into it. So today we're going to be talking about people that want to have someone as cute as this in their corner. If you know that you're ready for the responsibility to go ahead and get a, a baby that's a dog now, you know you want to have a dog. 10 things you need to know, 10 things you need to know before getting a pet. <laughs> okay, yeah, so let's get right to number one. Breed is important. When you want to get a pet, you need to consider the breed of your dog. This this baby right here is a barbo, but she has a cross of pink, um, but she's also a cross. But she's mostly a guabo. Her mom is a guabo and she's a crush of me pretty time. So you can see she's really ugly and I love her like that and she does a lot. So when you want to go after a dog, you need to consider what you really want in a dog. Do you want a calm dog? Do you want a security dog? Or do you want someone that's just gonna be like a pallet dog? Hey, Cody, come here! Cody! Okay, Cody will come and I'll show you what a pallet dog really looks like. So you need to define your priorities what do you want do you want your dog as a security if you want a security dog common security dogs in nigeria are mostly german shepherds you could also go for um the rottweilers just the aggressive dogs if you want a pallet dog common dogs in nigeria samoids um the american american eskimos in nigeria i've seen quite a number i've also seen a lot of lassa apps there are a lot in nigeria so you have to get a breed that is suitable okay she wants to leave us so hey Hey, okay, she just wants that. Oof! <laughs> so, you have to get a breed that is suited for what you want to do. What do you want your breed for? Do you want it as a companion? Do you want it as a pet? Ooh, number two. Number two, in as much as we're talking about what you want your dog for, we also, we also cannot overemphasize the fact of training. Training is very, very important. Like, I told her to sit here and she sat. Many dogs will not just come and sit. Many dogs will want to be playing over you. So you have to know that if you know you don't have the time to train your dog, please don't go getting a pet because you just need to have a dog that you cannot talk to. I mean, the other day I was trying to handle to treat a dog in the clinic and the dog was everywhere. The owner could not hold the dog and it was just a really messy situation. So please, if you cannot afford to train your dog, if you don't have the time to talk to your dogs over and over, please don't bother getting a pet because training is <laughs> Breed is important, training is important, but let's just take it like that. So number three. Let me about number three. <laughs> she rather tell us let's go for let's go for people. How you people go about getting really cute litter boxes, really, really cute dog dog beds, and then telling them, oh Jamie, her name is Jamie by the way. Jamie sit here, lie here, Jamie, do this here. No. Jamie would rather climb on my bed and lie down with me than sleep on the floor. But Jamie will never sleep on where you tell her to sleep on. But now a lot of people will come guns, guns blazing at me, telling me, oh my dog sleeps where I want her to. My dog, yeah, that's a case of training. If you get that right, just 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 give the video a thumbs up. <laughs> it's really cute person that you want a very sedentary environment, you want your tranquility, you respect your quietness, you want your quiet place, you want your lovely place. Let me tell you a secret. The reason why this auntie is sitting down here right now, not because I wanted to make a video with her sitting here right now. Hell no. I wanted to do that with only my face showing, but she was backing. She really wanted to stay with me. Mind you, I have other, I have two other dogs by the back of the house who rather stay on their own. So the dogs also have their own personality. So yeah, dogs back and that's their means of communication. So if you're a really quiet person, please don't go getting a dog and then domestic and then constraining them to the extent that they don't they don't back, they just eat and lie down. That's 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 not good for the dog. That's that's against animal welfare. So you really really need to get a dog. You really need to go for pets that suit your 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 character. If you're a quiet person, go for cats, go for reptiles, go for fishes. Yes, people train fishes. Go for fishes. They are really good for you. So let's go to number five. Number five. Are you sure we'll finish the video today? Jamie, what do you think? We should finish the video? <laughs> okay, so let's go to number five. Yeah, your dog will forever remain a two-year-old. Jamie, you are three months old. Hey, baby. But she will forever 
assimilate like a two year old. Now, people will come now and start shouting, Hey, but I watched John Wick, Parabola, where the dog were doing this and doing that. Two year old cannot do this and do that. Sorry, please pause, rewind. I am a veterinary doctor. I don't know how military people train their dogs to do all those things. But one thing I know is, a two-year-old can do a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff. If you tell a two-year-old, get me this, don't do this, don't do that, a two-year-old will do that. But the level of understanding of a two-year-old will not surpass that. So dogs are always two-year-olds. Yes, they are really smart dogs. They are dogs that, that are smarter than they are supposed to be. But their, their level of assimilation will never over outgrow that of a two-year-old. They will forever just want to eat, sleep, play. And you can now train the way they play. For instance now, those security dogs, maybe the way they see play is by all those stressful things. So that's what they are used to. That's what they call play. And yeah, she wants to lie down, you're noticing it. So that's what they call play. So those people, I think they really train them. But one thing about dogs is you have to keep talking to them. Keep telling them this is bad, this is good, this is not good, this is forever. They will forever remain your loving two-year-old. But the plus side of your two-year-old is they will always give you kisses. Hey, Jamie. Hey, Jamie. Hey, Jamie. Hey baby. Yeah, so they'll always, always, forever give you kisses and hugs and you'll never be alone because they'll always love you. I mean, can't you see she's such a big girl but she wants to love you up. So they'll forever love you up. They are your best friends for life. Now let's go, let's go, let's rush to number... <laughs> number six! Oh my god, it's number six. Jamie, it's six. Yeah, so... <laughs> Dogs are really lovely. Dogs will forever remain your best friends but don't get it twisted. We are agents of destruction. Yes, <laughs> yes, I said it. They are actually agents of destruction. If you really think that dogs will be in your house and then they will not, um, they will just be prim and proper, sit in one place, like in one place. Please, dogs are not your pets, right? Yeah. So, <laughs> dogs are not the pet of choice for you. You should think of other pets that that will just stay in their aquarium, stay in their little better place. Like tortoise, like I went to a friend of mine's place and the tortoise comes out only in the morning and goes back in the night. And that's so cute. That's so cute. Why can't you be like that? Why can't you be that cute? Okay, so those are your pets. Those are your pet of choice. Not these guys that you see she wants me to pet her, she wants me to just be all over me, she wants to destroy everything. She wants that's her way of showing love. So that's your way of showing love. They will be loving, they'll be your best friends, they will protect you if they are the ones that protect but they would, they would, they would, they would shall destroy your stuff. But they shall overgrow it though. They overgrow it, but <laughs> while they are younger, they, would, they are really adventurous and they want to taste and see everything. So yeah, those are dogs for you. So number seven. Number seven. Dogs are amazing. Now, I feel people misunderstand something. That's why I say, refer to point number one and point number two. Dogs are amazing. Different breeds, are supposed to do different things. I know some people can own brabos and their brabos are <laughs> security conscious. <laughs> Sorry, baby. But now, some other people would own brabos and they are cute and cute and lovely like mine. That's training. That's my way of saying that dogs are not always defenders. It's, it's expected that Caucasians are big and defending and they, they want to fight for their territory yes i've seen a Caucasian that beat the owner yes i've seen that you know, it, and me i was really scared of entering the house but i've seen also very loving Caucasians i've seen rottweilers that no that's what i shown i will not talk about that one because i've not seen i don't know about you please drop your comment section drop your comments in the comment box below if you've seen any rottweiler that is calm and loving but i've not seen i've not seen any rottweiler that is not always aggressive so but i know that there are deviances with german shepherds i know there are deviances with caucasians i know that um, um golden retrievers are really nice and stuff so yeah she wants to go so we're just gonna let her go she wants to go and lie down so <laughs> thank you thank you baby oh, some can be defending that's where you that's where you talk about stuff like um training training really matters but dogs are not always defenders unless you train them to be defenders. Yes, I ran away from the Lassa Apso before. The Lassa Apso wanted to bite me. Yes, the owner said attack. And the girl was actually rushing to attack me. That's Apso. I ran away from a Samoid before. The Samoid came to my clinic. I treated her the next day she came. And then she now knew me as the person who used to give injection and she wanted to bite me. So yes, these small dogs too can be really, really aggressive. And the first part is when you now ask, when people now ask you, you say dog beats you, who beats you? Which dog beats you? 
You now point at something that is small. It's better I point at rot while and I say rot while I beat me. And people say, hey, now that's small thing. Ah, Lua. <laughs> yeah, so next point, next point. Let's go to number eight. Number eight. Why do I like number number eight? I know I, I'm supposed to like seven, but I mean, I just like number eight. Yeah, number eight. To breed or not to breed. So a lot of people get dogs and then think that, okay, I'm going to get a dog and I'm not going to breed her or I'm going to get a dog and I'm going to breed her or that's totally up to you. Dogs are animals and you're their owner. Whatever you want to do is good, but please have, have at the back of your mind what you want to do with your animal before getting it. So you don't get to buy a dog and then when she gets pregnant, you won't know where she got pregnant. So a bitch on heat is a bitch on heat. She will definitely look for a man or a man will smell her pheromones and come looking for her. You need to know um, when she's on heat. Dogs, do, a, a dog being on heat is so clear. It's not like goats. It's not like um, cows. It's very clear when they are on heat. It's not like, like cats either. Hey, come out from there. Come out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Go, go. So a bitch and hit is a bitch and hit. So you have to know what you really want to do. Yeah, she came back. So you have to know what you really want to do. Do I, really, do I want to breed her or do I not want to breed her? Yeah, maybe if you really want me to talk about how to know when your dog is on hit and when to trust your dog, just put in the comment section box. And yes, please, anything you want to know about veterinary topic, just leave it in the comment section and then I'll get I'll get to attend to it yeah and if you have a male dog know who you're going to breed your dog with now a lot of people do same same family breeding that's a story for another day we have to talk about it I mean why do people practice, practice incense if people don't know that incense even in animal kingdom is wrong story for another day yes another thing that is annoying me is why do why do Nigerians do a lot of cross breeding that is mad you see a mongrel you gotta meet a mongrel with a wabu how why then you will not start this, dealing with the Tokyo cases. I mean, you see a, 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 a dwarf goat, Nigerian indigenous breed of goat, and then you start breeding it with, 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 with a red fulani, with, with a red bororo. How? How? No, that's a story for another day. So, to breed or not to breed, now on dogs, well, on dogs, yeah. Please. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to be talking number nine. Yes. Number nine. Nine, nine, nine. Number nine, zoonosis. When you want to get dogs, please and please and please do, 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 do know that dogs can give you diseases and you too can give your dogs diseases. Yes, they are very common ones like um, ascarids, those are, they are the parasites. A dog can give you rabies, um, other um, dogs can give you a lot, leptospirosis. There are a lot of diseases off the top of my head. I can count a couple for you. So all you need to do is you need a vet. Once you get a dog, the next logical thing is to go look for a vet. Even if you got your dog from a vet, make sure your vet checks it in front of you to know that your dog is okay. You need to get a vet. Dogs go hand in hand with a vet. I mean, how many human beings don't have a doctor? Even if you don't have a doctor, their healthcare facilities are scattered um, everywhere. So you need a vet. Your dog needs routine treatment and you need to take your dogs for vaccination schedules and stuff. Maybe on my next video, I'll talk about um, vaccinations and everything and treatment for your dog so you get to know that better. Then, final, final. I can't, I can't say, I can't talk about dogs, owning a dog without talking about government rules, house rules. I mean, if you have a landlord that doesn't want dogs, you're in a pickle if you have if you're living in a country that does not accept animals or whatever animal you want to get you're in a pickle so you have to know with your aunt with your landlord or where, where you stay your mom your dad and um, ask them if you can actually raise dogs there because dogs are noisy dogs can be dirty you have to get them dog if, having a dog is not an animal that you keep and nobody will know you have that kind of animal unless they pilot dog even pilot dogs back like um yorkshire terrors the, the, the salmon they all back so you have to know all those specifics before delving into getting a dog does my house permit me to own dogs do i get to own dogs if i do this and if i do that and am i allowed to actually keep these people as well yeah i need to give you one bonus one bonus free of charge free of charge yeah i know i'm too kind i am too kind yes please don't go getting a dog if you don't have money 
I said it, quote me. Say the go to bed said, don't go get me a dog if you do not have money. I mean, I keep saying this. To, to get a baby, all you need to do is meet with a woman, a man meets with a woman, and you get a baby, boom. I mean, but to get a dog, you have to go look for the dog, look for the breed you like, pay money, pay money. So how do you think that money will not sustain the dog? I mean, you need money to keep a dog. You need money to keep any pet. Man, they are depending on you, so you need money. That's a bonus point. I did not charge you for this one. You need money to keep these lovely animals in your corner. So thank you very much for watching my channel. Oh my God. If you, if you really liked this video, if you really, really liked this video, drop a comment in the, in the comment section. If you did not like the video, give it a thumbs up. Yeah, I can't end this video without talking about my look. My look, my look is by my sister. She's an, she's an amazing makeup artist. Her name is Bayadazio Kweni. Go check her out. I'm going to be dropping her Instagram and her Facebook handle on, on the comment section. So if you hated my video, give it a thumbs up. If you liked my video, give it a comment in the comment section. And if you know that you learned something from the video, Wait for the next episode. The next episode is going to blow your mind. So please just keep up with us. Every Thursday, we're going to be releasing a video talking about livestock, animals, and everything related to animals. Yeah, we're breaking it down home. So it's always going to be the Niger way. They want it. <laughs> yeah, so goodbye until next Thursday. It's kisses from Dr. Noye, the go to bed.